What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Tiqua. If you are new here, thanks for clicking on this video. I am currently at the lake. Um, I love coming to nature. I love being in nature. Just watching the birds or just being around the water. It's so soothing. Um, but as I'm sitting here in my car, you know, I'm thinking about my life, reflecting on the year that's just passed and thinking about the things that I want to see happen in my life for this new year. And just the lessons that I've learned, you know, over the past couple of weeks, I've had the um, opportunity and the privilege to be a part of an interview panel. And we're interviewing people for an entry level position at my job. And like one of the things that I've learned and like the overarching um, lessons or themes, you know, that's been resonating in my life for the past couple of weeks. And that is the power of positioning yourselves, you know. For some people, how you show up uh, in the world can be a bit of a struggle to figure out. And when I started thinking about people struggling um, to position themselves in life, I think that the biggest thing is um, having clarity. You know, oftentimes if we don't know who we are, then it's very hard to for other people to know who we are and if we don't really know what our um, dreams are and what our vision is and ultimately like what we see ourselves doing and where we see ourselves in the future you know like what do we see ourselves doing for the next 10 20 30 years you know so that we're not just waking up every day to go to a job but we're actually waking up daily to fulfill a dream and I started thinking about, um, you know, the power of positioning yourselves, you know, doing what it takes to get where you need to be, um, saying the right thing, doing the right thing at the right time with the right people. It's so important and it's so crucial to our success uh, in life. And, you know, nowadays in the social media age, it's so hard to actually stand out, you know, because so many people can just go online and, you know, if they want advice on uh, how to, you know, advice on their career, advice um, on the job, advice in their marriage, advice with their family, you know, advice in business, um, how to be an entrepreneur. There's so much, you know, millions and trillions of people that people can, can go to and people can seek out for advice and for counsel. But, you know, the truth is, is that we all been bought and we all been put on this earth to serve each other, to serve one another. And so, you know, even though um, with the age of social media, you know, standing out can seem a bit difficult, it's also a great opportunity because once we hone in on who we really are and then what we really have to offer the world, we can stand out. You know, if we meet a need, we can really hone in on that need and stand out and be one that someone comes to that they consider to be resourceful. Um, I started thinking about certain brands and companies and people, you know, like when we think of, um, let's say, Pepsi or Coca-Cola, when we think of BMW, when we think of name brands, luxury brands like um, uh, Gucci or Louis Vuitton, um, even when we think of people like Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan, um, these are people and these are brands that um, knew their value, that honed in on um, themselves and what they had to offer the world. And they made a difference ultimately in people's lives. I know I'm using business and people interchangeably, but you know, it's just so important that we recognize who we are so that we can position ourselves for the future. And there are some things that we desire in life that will not come overnight. There are some things that we desire in life that will take us strategizing, planning, and ultimately positioning ourselves so that we can obtain that which we desire in a year, in two years, maybe it's three months or six months. Um, you know how we do self-reflection at the end of the year and we're always kind of like tag you know at the beginning of the year i saw myself doing you know a b c d you know going back to school starting a family purchasing a home um you know starting a business um 
starting in, you know, an online business, maybe um, an Instagram account, um, you know, so many things that we can see ourselves doing at the beginning of the year. And then, you know, if we're not taking daily action towards that goal, we'll wake up and find ourselves at the end of the year on December 31st, just wondering, oh my God, what happened with the time and where did the year really go? So as I was thinking of the importance of positioning yourselves, you know, I thought of two stories actually in the Bible when it talks about positioning yourselves. The first story that I want to share with you all is um, the story about Zebedee's mother. Um, that's James and John who went to Jesus and pretty much she's like, you know what? I can see that you're going to be a king and, and your kingdom is going to come. So when your kingdom comes, can my sons, you know, sit at your right and your left um, side, you know, like she saw positioning as a, as a, um, in the worldly sense of positioning. She saw positioning as, you know, I want my kids to be stable. I want them to have security and I want them to be, you know, seated right beside the king. Um, but Jesus, you know, pretty much let her know that's not my place. But ultimately, you know, if if they want a part of the kingdom, they're going to have to drink this cup of suffering. And, you know, that just reminded me that, you know, for ourselves, if we really want to have a position and and um, take our position in life seriously, we have to realize that ultimately our position is to serve um, our position is to give of ourselves to those who are around us, our communities, and even in our jobs, you know, we are ultimately serving when we go to work. And then also, um, when talking about the importance of positioning ourselves, I thought of the story of Esther. Because the story of Esther is just, it is... Um, Oh my God, it, it just it just really magnifies the importance of positioning yourselves. In the story of Esther, Esther, who is um, of um, Jewish descent, um, she is a Hebrew. Um, she is living in a time when the children of Israel have already been captured and scattered throughout the land. So the children of Israel are actually living in other kingdoms amongst other people. Um, and Esther happens to live... Um, in the kingdom or in a place called Susa, which is ruled by King Xerxes. This is kind of um, modern day Persia. Um, and, um, you know, an opportunity arose where uh, the king was seeking for a queen. And under normal circumstances, if you read the Bible in the New Testament, you'll know that, you know, the Hebrew people really taught their children not to co-mingle or intermingle with people of other races or other nationalities. However, in this case, uh, when the opportunity arose, Esther's um, guidance and her um, instruction from her cousin Mordecai was to go for the position. And not only was she, um, did he prompt her to go for the position, but he also was strategic with um, um, her moves and he specifically told her not to reveal that her lineage not to reveal that she was a Hebrew so Esther went for the position and out of all the other women that the king saw he was fond of Esther and he made Esther his wife which now made her a queen um, the story goes on that her cousin Mordecai actually sat at the king's gate so he was an official at the king's gate and there was a time where two people were plotting to kill the king and Mordecai took this information and he told Esther and he said listen you know this is what's going on you have to warn the king and Esther warned the king and after research the king found out that what um, Mordecai had you know said and what Mordecai had um, shared was actually true and he recorded it in his book of records and the two gentlemen were ultimately killed. A few years later, King Xerxes puts a guy named Haman um, in charge. And Haman um, actually, um, you know, had a little air about himself, I would say. And he had this thing that he wanted everyone to bow down when he entered. When he entered the room, he wanted people to bow down to him. And, you know, when he entered into the king's gate, everyone bowed down except for Mordecai. And he was very insulted by this. But, you know, again, we learn through our Bible that that's one thing that the children of Israel was taught that they ought to not have any other God besides the one true and living God. And so, you know, just like in the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who refused to bow down, um, 
<clears throat> to an image, uh, Mordecai refused to bow down to Haman. So Haman got extremely mad. And not only did he get mad and had anger in his heart, but he wanted to punish not just Mordecai. He knew Mordecai was a Jew. So he said he sought out to kill all the Jews. So he sent out an edict in all of the land of Persia that every Jew and every providence would be, you know, executed. And, you know, when Mordecai learned of this, he was, he was, deeply grieved and um you know the bible says that he he um he was sorrowful and so he went to esther and he told esther of the plot and he asked esther could she you know pretty much go to the king and 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 for the sake of her people you know um to help save her people and in this case you know it's very interesting when when i talk about the power of positioning um yourself because one we see that she sought out the opportunity even though it was naturally against the norms of her culture, um, she sought out the opportunity. She took heed to her cousin's words, not to reveal her true identity. And then now that she is uh, as queen, she's seated right next to the king. When something comes up that is about to literally erase her entire lineage and her people, she now has a, she's now positioned um, in such a way where she has the king's ear. And so, you know, while it was not um, of the norm that the queen would go in and tell the king certain things, she had she ultimately did this. She went into the king and she let the king know, you know, what was going on and, and to remember Mordecai because he was the one who ultimately saved the king's life a few years prior. Um, and when the king went back into his records, and it's very interesting, the divine providence of God, because the night that um the night before they all the jews were supposed to be exiled the king couldn't sleep and when he couldn't sleep he had <laughs> he had um the books of records read to him and that's where he um read how mordecai had helped to save him a few years prior and so ultimately in this move you know esther had to reveal who she was and that she was in fact a jew and that, you know, ultimately her people was set to be perished. And as a result of her positioning herself, she was able, um, positioning herself, she was able to save her people. So, you know, just thinking again about, you know, my life and, um, you know, I've gone through an interview process. So, you know, I see people who come before us who are prepared. And then there are people who come before us who aren't prepared. I see people who come before us for this position and, you know, they're anxious, they're excited. And there are some people who come for the position because simply they feel they have their qualifications or that their qualifications match the job description. Um, you know, I've seen such a an array of different people who have come for this position, but it just, you know made me think and realize that it is so important in life that we position ourselves that we have you know short-term and long-term goals and that we um you know especially for our long-term goals that we're taking proactive steps in the here and now to make sure that in that year or in that two years or three years or five years that we accomplish you know the very goals that god has intended for us to accomplish and that we make an impact in the lives of the people that he has um that he has put us in in arm's reach and in arm's distance to make a difference in their lives ultimately as jesus said to the mother of the sons of zebedee you know our position is not to seek riches or um, to seek, you know, position as far as, um, you know, trying to rule over people. It is definitely within his, you know, God has definitely given us the ability as his children to be leaders. But it is not for us to rule over people, but to guide them in loving kindness and for us to offer up our services um, to those that we meet each and every day. Um, but, you know that's um how I want to start off my year I want to start off my year honing in on you know the importance of positioning myself even now and what I see for myself and for my family in a year you know I'm working today towards that goal so I hope you all have a wonderful day today is actually Dr. Martin Luther King's uh holiday this is the day that his birthday is observed um, and what a great visionary Martin Luther King was, um, not just for, um, you know, African Americans, but just for human rights in general. So I love you all. I pray you have a blessed day. Um, and, um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.